वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन एग्जाम्पल स्केच द रूट लोकस ऑफ यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम विद एन ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एज के वेरिड फ्रॉम जीरो टू इनफाइनाइट सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन दैट द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन जी ऑफ एस इन टू एच ऑफ एस विद द यूनिटी फीडबैक गिवन एज के ओवर एस एस प्लस टू एस प्लस थ्री so here we have to plot the root locus and we have to just follow the all the rules that we discussed in the previous lecture so for plotting the root locus the step number 1 is determination of number of poles and number of zeros so here if you look in the expression given as so in this expression the number of zeros are not there but here three poles are there so the pole p1 will be equals to on equating s equals to 0 we get our first pole p1 equals to 0 on equating s plus 2 equal to 0 we get our second pole that is s equals to minus 2 so the pole p2 will be equals to minus 2 on equating s plus 3 equals to 0 we get an another pole at p equals s equals to minus 3 that is pole 3 at minus 3 only since no zeros lie so the uh, number of poles will be equals to 1 2 and 3 and the number of zeros is equals to 0 only so the step number 1 is now completed moving on to the next step that is calculation of number of branches step to calculate number of branches so number of branches of the root loci can easily be determined by the formula that is given as maximum of number of poles comma number of zeros so maximum of number of poles here is equals to 3 only so we write 3 here and the number of zeros is equals to 0 so we here we write 0 only and the maximum of 3 comma 0 will be easily equals to 3 only so we can say that number of branches of the root loci that lies on the h plane will be equals to 3 moving on to the next step that is step number 3 step 3 calculation of number of asymptotes so the number of asymptotes can easily be determined by the formula number of poles minus number of zeros
so we have calculated that number of poles is equal to 3 and the number of zeros is equal to 0 only so the number of asymptotes is equal to 3 here moving on to next step that is determination of centroid of asymptotes So the centroid of asymptotes can easily be determined by the formula summation of real part of poles minus summation of real part of zeros divided by number of poles minus number of zeros so in this question some of the poles our pole was one pole was at p1 equals to zero second pole was at s equals to minus two and third pole was at s equals to minus three and in this question no zero was there okay so the sum of all the poles will be equals to zero plus minus two plus minus three that is zero plus minus two plus minus 3 minus real part of 0 since no 0 is there so we can simply write 0 here and divided by number of poles here 3 poles are there so we'll just write 3 minus number of 0 no 0 are there so we write 0 here so 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 is equals to minus 5 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 so our result is minus 5 over 3 or we can say that minus 1.67 so this is our centroid of asymptotes Moving on to the next step, that is step number 5. Calculation of angle of asymptotes. So the angle of asymptotes can be easily determined by the formula phi is equal to 180 multiplied by 2m plus 1 divided by p minus z here for the calculation of angle of asymptotes we have to first calculate the value of m since we all know that value of 